today on the Chat and Chew Show. I just, I want to be able to give joy to a lot of people who don't have it. The holidays are here and we've got a fun episode in store for you today. YouTuber Sharon Scoggins, a.k.a. The Boss Lady, is in the virtual building with her decorating tips and tricks. Wife, mother, and decorating extraordinaire, Sharon is a true creative at heart who has always loved Christmas. She believes that sharing her love of all things Christmas sparks joy in her virtual audience as well as those whom she meets in person. Sharon says a simple Christmas carol can bring about childhood memories or even a sense of hope for people. Today on the Chat and Chew show, Sharon shows off her home and gives us the inside scoop on how she pulled off this year's holiday theme. She'll also tell us the best way to save money on your Christmas decor. It's holiday chair made easy with what we call a high-spirited Tis the Season tutorial. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Chat and Chew show. My name is Betty. And I'm Roxanne. And I want to say happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most favorite times of the year is the Christmas season. And we have a special show for you today where we're going to help you and help me <laughs> not only get into the Christmas mood, but we're also going to be able to come up with some inexpensive ways that you can celebrate this holiday season. So this is going to be an actual great, great show. So hang on. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. As Betty mentioned, we have a great, great show and one that I think is going to be really fun for me um, and also hopefully for you. I'm also I'm talking about myself now, but because <laughs> it's all about Christmas. So we want to welcome Sharon Scroggins. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Doing well. And Sharon, you go by the boss lady. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> now, why the boss lady? Um, well, it's a long story, but long story short, uh, I wear many hats at home. And so I do everything pretty much. And I just, I'm the boss lady and I'm, I'm the boss lady in my own right. So, you know, I own businesses, I have a family and I just take care of business. So I, I nicknamed myself that and it's just taken off. <laughs> nice. I like that. The boss lady. <laughs> <laughs> And I tip, I purposely did that with a D-A and not a T-H-E. Ah. Oh. The boss lady. The yeah. Boss lady. I do yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited to have you today. Here's one. This is selfish. And like Roxanne too, uh, we're just saying that we're so happy that you're here. So today, me and my family are actually going to go out and buy a Christmas tree. We usually get live trees, but I think this year we're going to get um, like a fake tree. And usually I put up lights and stuff like that. So this is just an p- appropriate uh, a show for us. So I just want to ask you a couple questions. One about, you know, I know that you can find really good deals. Where do you think would be a good place for us to go and get an actual Christmas tree from? Uh, for a best for the best deal, I would say go to Walmart. Walmart has great trees for great prices. And I will actually show you a Walmart tree and it, it looks great to me. Um, A lot of people go to other stores, but you don't have to spend a lot to have a nice tree. Okay. Yeah. So with the Christmas tree, sometimes when you buy them, they're not like filled in all the way. So can you give us a few pointers on how you can actually, you know, fill the tree in and all that good stuff? Well, one thing you want to do, you always want to fluff your tree. When you pull it out the box, you know, it's all kind of stuck together. You want to spend time with fluffing your tree. So before you decorate, um, before you put lights or anything on it, you want to spend time fluffing your tree, you know, getting your branches pulled out and fluff them and then stand back, look at it, see, okay, where are the holes at? And then typically what I do is I put ribbon on the tree to fill some holes or Mm -hmm. multiple ornaments. So bigger ornaments kind of pushed inside the tree or um, Mm -hmm. you can use tool, you can use mesh ribbon um, and that will help fill the gaps to your tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay. Sorry, I'm just, it's clicking bigger on the <laughs> side of the tree. I'm like getting the whole visual. I'm like, that's smart. Okay. 
carry on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I agree, bigger ones. Cause you see you buy like a box of ornaments and it's like the small ones. I, yeah. I see those big ones around, but I never even thought about what they were for. I'm thinking you need like a gigantic tree, but that's a good idea, like to put the bigger ones in, in it. So you said you have a tree you want to show us? Are you going to like take the camera over to it? How are you going to do it? Yes, I can take the camera over. You want to see it now or you want to see it later? We can see it now since we're talking about it. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. I'm excited. There you go. Oh, my. But I want to show you my topper. <gasps> oh. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to get okay, close. For I just, I, I need to do a public service announcement for anybody who is listening to this podcast and not watching. Please take a moment whenever you can to go on YouTube and check out this episode. This tree is amazing. Yeah. Um, and if I can describe it to you, the topper actually is reflecting light onto the ceiling, making it look like angels or something are orbiting the tree. And then the tree is filled in like your Macy's Christmas tree. It also has the plaid that are on all of our pajamas mixed in. Ooh. I love that. Oh my, this is beautiful. Your Santa's. And she has like black Santa's. Black Santa. <laughs> Go online Not and the, look at the tree, y'all. Got <laughs> the black Santa <laughs> and the top of the star. Oh my, that is beautiful. You see the star says Santa stop here. Wow. We got those beautiful lights. So wait and a minute. This is this is a Walmart tree. Yes, it is. Wow. See, Betty. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How did you get, or where did you get your ornaments, though? Because they're those are nice. Like you have like a whole Santa workshop on your thing, but they match. So where did you get yeah. yours from? So this ornament here that you're seeing, that one came from Cracker Barrel. Oh. But this one here that you're seeing. He came from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then this one here, he came from Hobby Lobby. Wow. Uh-huh. So do you just so pick you them up along the way when you're yeah. out and out? Okay. And I typically try to get nothing but Black Santas because I want representation in my home. Okay. I like that. Yep. And so I'll tell you the Black Santas, but you have other ornaments that are like reminiscent of Santa so yeah so like mm -hmm. here there's a sleigh yeah and then right here you have your mailbox yeah wow. <laughs> and well, then oh another thing for your filler for your tree something yeah. I'll show you you'll want to pick up what's called a pick so these are picks they look like this mm -hmm. and you just stick it in the tree so wherever you see there's a hole, you stick it in. And then you're done. <laughs> that makes you, Betty. Sure. Uh, I'm going to have to fly you here to my home <laughs> so we can put my tree together. Because, Sharon, I'm looking at this and I'm like, it is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And yep. how do you um, get the ribbon? I mean, it's just perfect. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. well, I will tell like you, the, the ribbon, ribbon is... is the ribbon can be uh, cumbersome. <laughs> okay. I'm still learning, but um, I love it. I, I typically watch different tutorials myself okay. just so I can, you know, perfect my craft mm -hmm. because I do love Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm going to flip the camera back around so that okay. we can continue to talk because there's another section I want to show you too. Yeah. Okay. And Sharon, I, so I'm wondering too, like, Okay, because so you picked up stuff at different places. Are you shopping for Christmas like throughout the year? Like, because you some people do the, the discount shopping yes. well, after Christmas is done and then just anywhere they are, they pick up anything that's like red. Are you doing that? Well, um, I nicknamed myself Santa's Elf because I like to give cheer and things like that. So I'm always looking I, I'm on Pinterest pretty much every day. When Christmas is over, I'm on Pinterest looking for my next ideas. Mm -hmm. So then, um, and I also watch other YouTubers that I adore and cherish. And so I just pick up different things from them as well. And I, I every time I see something, especially if it's a Black Santa, I get it. Um, last, well, this year, actually, January, 2021, 
my husband took me to a town, Mankato, here in Minnesota. And it was after the first of the year. And we went to Hobby Lobby. They had everything 90% off. Mm. And because Mankato is not highly melanated, uh, they had a lot of melanated Santas in that store. And, and I just took my cart. And you know how you see the cartoons where they go, mm, and just kind of put everything in the cart? That's exactly <laughs> what I did. So I... I purchased over $400 worth of merchandise for $43. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. So that's another reason why they call me the boss lady and I get boss deals for thrifty prices. Listen. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, all of, how, how much would you say the tree you just showed us just in general costs? Um, without my discounts? Oh. No, with, that... your, with your discounts. <laughs> Okay, with the discounts, um, I want to say the tree itself was about $68. Um, the ribbon I got from Dollar Tree, so paid a dollar roll for the ribbon, um, as well as the mesh ribbon as well, so that was a dollar roll as well. Um, the ornaments, they vary, but I pretty much got all of them discount prices. So I would say roughly maybe 150, that's yeah. pushing it. Um, okay as far as how much I spent, but I didn't spend all of that at one time. Um, mm. A lot of those ornaments are new to the house this year, but the tree I've had for at least two years. Okay. Um, and then I just pick up things along the way, the red ornaments I got last year. So um, I pick up things throughout the year as well as I don't use whatever I pick up after Christmas sale. Sometimes I don't use it for two years. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Which, I mean, that's great because that's that stuff you're getting at 90% discount and then you use it whenever you want to. So that's right. it's a good time to rack up. And the thrift stores are also your best friend as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is, the, this is the first year Dollar Tree started carrying a lot of the ornaments with Black Santa. They're starting to, you know, get in a few items more and more. This year was the first year where they had a lot. Mm. Um, but I shop at all stores, Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, um, TJ Maxx, you know, wherever I, wherever I can find a good Santa, that's where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love this. I just think, you know, uh, throughout the holidays, I think it just adds so much to your home when you just cr create, you know, um, some people live in a place where they can only have a small tree and then some people can do big gigantic trees but it just adds such to your environment when you can just decorate just a little bit a string of lights you know even makes a difference so how did you even get into the whole christmas thing oh my goodness well i mean being a kid you know of course kids just love christmas but um growing up my grandparents were a staple in our family. And so, you know, my grandma made things very special. My mom made things very special. And they did special things at different times. And so as I got older and began to keep house, I said, you know, I want to make it special for my kids too. And so I started and I just kept building, kept building. And now I need almost a second house because I don't built a lot. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, my husband kind of, you know, he's like, hey, you got too many bins. I'm like, uh, sorry, you know, we're shopping. So, <laughs> and uh -oh. I typically buy new bins every year because I get new stuff every year. Mm -hmm. But I just, I want to be able to give joy to mm -hmm. a lot of people who don't have it. There's a lot of people right now who are sad because of lost loved ones, because of the pandemic. And then some people are just grouchy for no reason. They think Christmas is all about money and it's really not. I mean, the, we know the reason for the season is Jesus. And I also, you know, incorporate that in my, my decor as well. You won't be able to see that right now, but you know, if you come back, you can see it another time on my channel. I love what you're saying. I just kind of got chills on that. It's like, you know, it we can bring joy to other people during this time, you know, and you're right. This could be a sad time for a lot of people. And then, you know, that just a small thing, they come to your house and see your beautiful decorations that can bring them joy. Or, or you find a cute little something from the dollar store or a black Santa or whatever, you know, and passing on that can bring joy to people. So that's fantastic. So fantastic. And I love that you're getting it on sale. 
I love the, that. The key thing to do is to shop off season and you'll yeah. get great deals. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So what kind of stuff do you do for other people in terms of like sharing your knowledge and um, working with other people? Um, whenever I talk to anybody that, I, you know, if, if they bring up Christmas, I'm bringing up the joy. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel, so I do share, you know, my joy on my channel. But when I'm in the grocery store or Walmart, especially if I'm in there by myself, I'll get the Hamana holiday song and it just somebody will turn around like, oh, you know, it is Christmas time or something. And they'll just, you know, they'll start talking to me. So I just try to, you know, make people feel good as best I can. Um, I, I can't do a whole lot, but, you know, if I can hum a tune or, you know, give them a, a quick little idea to do something, that's what I do. Yeah, good, good. I love that. You can't do everything, but you can do something, you know, and that's for all of us. We can do something. Yeah, and we can aff and, um, affect each other in these little ways. Like, I love how simple you're saying, like, you're in the store and just singing a holiday song and it sparks a conversation. Like, how easy is that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to, to take something that you love um, and express it in a public place, you know, without harming anyone and, <laughs> <laughs> and just being contagious with your own joy. Like, I really appreciate that, like, in your ability to, to like live your joy out loud, so to speak. Um, yeah, because I, I smile is you, contagious. It's yeah. <laughs> I think another thing you said too is creating memories. Like that happened for you when you were young, you know, um, yes. your mom and your grandma, they created memories for you. And so now it's translated into your life too. And I think, you know, people who are listening that have children or anybody in your home, you can create memories still, you know, um, for them. This has been a tough, couple years for everybody. And uh, again, just to create fun and joy during this time, I think it, it's, it makes a huge impact. And there's something chemically that happens to you when you are experiencing joy in that. It just lifts your mood, it lifts everything. It can lower your blood pressure, all kind of things. So That's I think right. it's good. Yeah. So you have a few more things you're gonna show us? Sure. But first I gotta tell you a story. Okay. So there's something that I started on my, my YouTube channel uh, and in my home, it's called the Santa Choir. Because I started collecting Santas, which you'll see in a minute, um, my collection kind of grew and it grew overnight. And so once it got to a point where I didn't have just one or two, I had to figure out, well, what am I going to do with them? So I have a china cabinet and I said, you know what, I'm going to just set them up there. It'll be fine. And then when I stepped down, I looked at it and I said, you know, that looks like a choir stand because I had them, you know, kind of different levels. And so I said, that's the mass choir. So my, the subscribers I have, they get tickled when I talk about, you know, my Santa mass choir. And so with the pandemic going on last year, I started the narrative of, well, you know, I know it's a COVID Christmas because that's what everybody was calling it. And I said, well, you know, I'm gonna kind of incorporate that into my, my decor. So I had a Santa who was in a water globe. I had just got him and it said 2020 on it. I said, that's perfect. Cause that will, that will remind me of the pandemic that we've gone through. So mm -hmm. I, I named him, you know, the Santa who's in quarantine. Mm. So everybody was like, are you serious? I'm like, yes. And so I kept telling everybody, I said, well, you know what? The choir is not going to be the same next year. Talking about 2021. I said, so you have to just come back and see. So I've been kind of prepping my subscribers, letting them know that, you know, Santa choir is cutting up. They done fell out. Everybody done walked off the stand. And so <laughs> just kind of letting them know that it's going to be different from what they've seen years past. I think I did the Santa choir two years in a row. So wow. this year I did something a little different for them. Them. and I think I think everybody will like it <laughs> so are you going to give us a sneak peek or we got to yeah. go to your YouTube channel you will get a sneak peek All so, right. we can be <laughs> there's three different areas I want to show you it's all in the same room but it's okay. three different areas I want to show you because I think I think you'll like it okay Ooh. okay we're ready Ooh, all I right and right. chew excuse exclusive <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. So this right here is our cocoa station. Ooh. Yep. So I have this Santa. He was one that I had to get. He was super expensive, but I got him. <laughs> but I set this up as a cocoa station. Nice. Huge. My train, you see, I got for 90% off. 
wow. this particular um, Santa here, he was um, from Walmart last year. Hmm. See the cookie jar. And I got that Santa there. And then I also have Santa mugs. So I have Great. this Santa here. Thank you. There's another Santa back there. Oh. Got the Santa mugs here. And then look at him. <laughs> wow. Holly Jolly. So, so uh oh, sorry. It says have a Holly Jolly Christmas. Mm -hmm. So that is the cocoa station, one of two, because I have one in my kitchen. But then let me see. I'm gonna have to back up here. Mm -hmm. This is oh where. Oh my! Okay. The mass choir. <laughs> so this is less than what it has been, and what I've been telling folks is that yes, the choir has kind of disbanded. We have a few who have passed on, so we have pictures for memorials. Oh my! <laughs> we have two that are in quarantine in the water globes there. <laughs> But that's um, them, and that the one in the middle, he is our soloist of this year. But wow. it gets even better. Wow. So let me, I'm going to try to open this up here. Hold on one second. So for go. you guys who are listening, um, you know, on podcast, she has a China cabinet, and at the top of it is full of different types of Santas, <laughs> who is reminiscing of her uh, mass choir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, it's beautiful. And there's Santa's all in here. Yep. So she opened a china cabinet and then there are plates and more Santas. This is fantastic. My, you have to go to YouTube so you can <laughs> see this. This is amazing. So this do, is do, you, do you switch out your china cabinet around the holidays? Because I know it's the yes. whole Okay. Yes, I do. And then these guys here, they decide just to come and watch. Now, are these angels? I have angels and Santas over here. And okay. the reason why these guys are set together because they kind of match each other. So I have the white and silver. Mm. I have the cream, cream and gold here. Mm -hmm. And then these guys are in the burgundy in the back. Nice. Wow. Wow. And I even have a little Santa right there. I won't turn him on, but he lights up and plays music. <laughs> And it says peekaboo. <laughs> wow. Nice. So yeah, so that is my collection. All of the Santas are accounted for except for one. I have one that's about three feet tall. Oh my. And uh I just didn't have no space for him today. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. So this is all in guys. this is all in one room. All in one room. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Let me see if I can pan it over. And that's the table. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. And there's a Santa on the table. So this is the Santa room. Those are the nice. fanciest Santa hats I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> Super cute. And those hats I got 90% off at uh, bed, was it Bath and Body? Mm. It was part of their decor and they sold them. <gasps> really? Okay. So that's And a then in the middle, if you're looking closely here, this is two different cake plates. And the top one is made like Santa. So it has his Santa boots underneath. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cute. So, okay. So some stores will sell their display after Christmas. Either. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I like the way this looks. Again, you, if you're listening to this, you got to go see it. Your tree and your table, they match. Like you have yeah. the plaid plates and all that on the table. And then the pot, you give me some really good ideas. I have a <laughs> box of old ornaments, but I'm about to go to the dollar store. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to try to copy this. I love this. I like the black and white plaid. It just adds something, I don't know, a pop to it. So it's really, really nice. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it, you know, um, just doing this. It makes people happy. One year I, I decorate the home and... I just sent the, the video link out to family and friends and they were like, oh my God, that's your house? I'm like, yes. <laughs> now I will say, you know, it, it does take a lot of work. So yeah. it can't be done overnight. <laughs> this took me, oh wait, about two weeks. <laughs> so, and I'm not done with the house. I still have the live room to do, um, a little bit more to do outside and some stuff to do in the kitchen and the bathroom. 
Wow. But it's such a transformation. Your family must get so excited around this time of year. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, you have to be a lover of Christmas to really appreciate it. So <laughs> sometimes there's mixed reviews, but I will say, um, uh, my husband, because he knows I love Christmas, he will literally, he might complain, but he'll take me to go and buy more Christmas stuff. Or he'll just say, Hey, I saw something you want it. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I actually have another Santa hopefully coming next week. <laughs> That is so funny. Is yeah. Funny. So you have a YouTube channel. Where can uh, people find you? Um, they can find me on YouTube at the Boss Lady Seventy Six CS. So seven six and then CS for my initials. Cool, cool. Now, are you on social media? Um, yes, I am. Uh, I'm on Instagram. So, and in my Instagram handle is Boss Lady Seventy Six CS. So just take the D A R. Okay. Good, yeah. good, cool. Well, this was such a good episode. Thank you so much for hanging with us. And I'm telling you, if you uh, were listening to this, you have to go on YouTube to see it. It is fantastic and amazing. And Sharon, you've been such a great guest. So thank you. And I got some in the background here. <laughs> well, you know, I'm one of Santa elves. So if, if they being naughty, I can let Santa know. Okay, now. <laughs> you, you got a, lot, a, a straight line betty give them a no really straight line to santa l yeah uh -huh. cool, cool, cool well this is a great episode so roxy can you tell people where they can find us yeah sure so as we've been mentioning throughout this show if you um only listen to us on um any of the streaming platforms please go uh google the chat and choose show at youtube um and check out this episode also we're on instagram and facebook at chat and choose show um, and we are so happy to have you here. Subscribe when you get on YouTube, press whatever button is there. Just press all the buttons. So right. you get all the <laughs> notifications. And um, um, Sharon, again, thank you so much. This was super fun and great to see. So um, until next time, guys, take care. All right. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs>